Alright Minecraft fans, um, because of my next video is going to include a nuclear reactor, I foresee a lot of questions on how to build the reactor and or how to extract power from it. So I'm just going to make a short but fast tutorial on uh, <coughs> how to build your reactor. I'm not going to go over all the recipes or make the individual items as intended because you can find all the recipes on the website. I will of course uh, link um, all the recipes. There we go. Okay. Let's just make a nice flat area to work on. Sit down. There we go. <coughs> okay, we're going to need a few things uh, and uh, I'll go through them as we, as we take them. First of all, I'm going to take some high voltage cable. There are different kinds. I'm just going to use the best insulated because I don't like to get shocked. And uh, the same way I created the reactor in my other video is I started by placing the cable and I basically built my reactor around that. <coughs> so this is, you can place it behind or below, anywhere outside the reactor. And let's see, one, two, three, we can always destroy one if it's too much. I'm going to place a, uh, where the hell is it, there, MFSU, yeah, that's nice, uh, at the end of the cable just to extract some power or to show power is being extracted. There we go. Uh, basically, you need to encase your reactor in something called reinforced stone and you can also use reinforced glass. Uh, the reason is because in case your reactor is going to uh, overheat, it will explode for some weird reason. Anyway, um, you don't have to make it this large. Uh, I'm just creating a, using this size because I'm going to add extra reaction chambers. You can upgrade your reactor by adding additional chambers to it. There we go. And uh, <coughs> usually I would play, create a second layer above this, expand one on, set 231. Oops, let's uh, recheck the, <laughs> the item numbers. Uh, where is it? 231? Didn't I write that? Replace no to be one. There we go. <coughs> so this is basically the flooring of my reactor. Then I'm going to create the up the sides. <coughs> There we go. And the ceiling. The reason I use glass on the ceiling is because in uh, most real world reactors you pull the uranium course up with a crane 
or put them down with a crane. Uh, and I just like to keep it sort of authentic. Just hit no. Replace zero with two first. No. Replace zero two first. There we go. <coughs> so this is basically my reactor. But then again not. Now we need to get the actual reactor working. And um, for this we need some reaction chambers. These are not necessary, but uh, we're going to use them. But I'll of course show you the reactor first without, if we can find it. There we go. <coughs> this is basically a reactor and it will work like this. In case this with water, put your uranium in here along with your cooling plates and the cooling water and would it will generate power. Of course close this off and fill it with water. But I'm going to add the plates like this and then you can expand your reactor like this. And you can see it's much larger now. Very nice. We're going to need one more thing. Uh, the blast proof doors. It's right there. And... Uh, <coughs> that is basically because I want to be able to access... That's the wrong one. That one... Uh, And we want that. Reason I'm adding uh, this one there is so because well, it's not really necessary. Uh, it just makes more sense when you open the door. The water won't flow out, but of course it still won't flow out because of the Minecraft physics. Ah, fucked. And now we're going to fill it with water. Replace zero with water. There we go. And my reactor is working. Uh, we need something to open and close this door. There we go. And I can access my reactor. This is a working nuclear reactor. Let's just add some cooling. Uh, the cooling is probably the most annoying thing uh, you have to make in the, in the process of building your reactor. Uranium is not annoying, it's just hard to find uh, when mining legit. <coughs> and uh, there are of course several ways you can set up uh, the cooling chamber. This is just my uh, my preferred way or method, and I've been quite successful with it. I can use this to run at least uh, eight uranium cores uh, in one reactor like this. I don't know why I took those. I don't know. Anyway, you might notice these coolant cells; they don't stack. Uh, and enriched uranium don't stack either. Anyway, there we go. Done. Now all the spaces you need something. Uh, what you don't need, I put heat dispensers in to make sure because when uranium is in here, it will heat up the cells just around it. But these things. 
move the heat from the cells just around it out to the next cells. And in theory, when you theory when you place them at the edge like this, they should disperse the heat out into uh, the water surrounding the reactor. And there we go. Now I'm going to add uranium. And you can hear the engine started, or the power plant. And we should already be able to, to see it producing power. There we go. And if you want to see how much power it's producing, you take the tool. There we go. You can, of course, uh, increase the output by adding more uranium cells or reducing the coolant. It's a fine balance you have to find. But this is a... Uh, it's pretty good for powering most things. Uh, if I wanted to use more uranium, this is not you fuel. <laughs> this is the layout I would use. The problem is when you add <laughs> uranium and you have to experiment to find your your uh, ideal setup the thing will explode and it will will not give you a warning but look at the power now in order for this to be safe in case it explodes you have to extend the power a little, uh, away so i'm going to add another mfsu and even more cable so this is about a safe distance and I'm just going to run some cable over there. Sign A. There we go. And the power should be transferred into this one and start here. Perfect. Let's check on the reactor. You can see there's plenty of coal. It appears to be working. So, why the hell not just give it a, a decent amount of uranium just for the heck of it I don't know not bronze and uh, I'm going to let it explode now and you will notice there is no warning no indication you can hear the Geiger counter going crazy And there we go. Basically, we have too much uranium in the reactor now, and eventually the cooling will stop uh, cooling. But we are producing uh, 158 power units now, and you can see the storage is being filled slowly. Apparently uh, this was not a problem. So I guess we could add some more. That's a problem. There's no cooling for these two.
And let's check power. <laughs> 418. Oh, <clears throat> by the way, one thing we need, uh, want to notice uh, above on the top we have two layers of uh, reinforced padding, and below we have two layers on the side. We only have one layer. And since I want to protect this over here, I'm going to add another layer if I can before it blows. Oh, there it went. Anyway, you can see I'm safe. <coughs> the reactor <laughs> is gone. Bye bye. The explosion went straight down because of the hole where the wire came out. Or the, the high voltage cable. There are no radiation, so that's uh, that's a plus. <laughs> and you can see we got some weird destruction around the place. But basically, the top layer and the bottom layer, they're intact. So if I were to add another layer outside, it would be fine. And you will see in my other video, I have at least two and even three layers around the reactors. Because I have three reactors and they are each encased in one layer. And the entire room they are in are in another layer and there's another layer outside that. So it should be safe. But what's most, <laughs> most important is we got our power and it's safe. It's right here. And the other power MFSU, it's gone. So, and you can see some nice, nice graphics there. The explosion went out that way and that way. <coughs> I hope it helped you to understand how to build a reactor and how to extract power from it. Uh, the recipes for all the ingredients I will add in a link. Well, it's basically just a link to the Industrial Craft 2 Wikipedia and you can uh, check it out yourself there. Hope you enjoyed. Comment and rate. Thank you.